Right, so today's job, another boat. We're doing uptick rubbing rail again, so front base plate, so for this line here. Look at this one. Nice. Yeah, it'll all come off, not to be worried about. Well, I think there's a steel afterwards maybe, but I think it should be fine. It's on surface rust. I've seen worse. I think um, what'll happen today is, because this boat's only just come out of water yesterday, where it's damp here, it's gonna look darker in places where it's where it's being blasted, like such as down here. Because when this gets blasted, this is just going to re-stick to the bit that's already been done or whatever. So what I'm going to try and do is, oh, I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to try and blow it away from what the fresh the uh, the fresh blast. So we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, it's got some. Uh, it's got some crud on it. Other same, other side basically the same. I'm gonna have to move that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. It's gonna get it work because I'm gonna take it to same as last time. Do that. And I don't know if you can see all that under there, but yeah, it's pretty bad under there. It's a nasty looking boat, but it's not that bad to get off with blaster to be fair. Oh, we've got air up. See here, see this mill scale, this dark grey stuff, that's what I'm expecting not to come off. That's already on steel. When steel's rolled or pressed or whatever it is when it comes out, at, when it's when it's made into its sheets, it gets this like thin layer of, I don't know, they call it mill scale. It's, if it needed to come off anyway, why is it still on now? Why is it still on when I get to it? So we're not bothered about taking that off. We're just going to key it up for paint. I'm going to leave that that mill scale that's underneath. It's probably likely I've gone anywhere down here and I will have to break through it to get to get it off here like but I'm, I'm presuming with what I've seen up there this bit here is going to be like a darkish grey colour when it's blasted. But it's going to be prepped anyway so yeah let's get into it. Alright this is media we're using today. It's a super, I oh know it's a fine plus sorry. Into the pot. You can see grades in that. Perfect for ripping that paint off and then scabs. I'm going to leave that last bit up there. I get that right at last. Mainly because I need to turn the sand down a little bit. So I'll try and do as much much area as I can while it's turned up and then when I got it van to the refill pot I can uh, put water in there I can nip that van and then I can turn it down there you go, it's up in there There's some sort of little blockage up there somewhere. There we go, can you see that now scale? That's what I was expecting. A little bit of silicon there. Can't be know about that. It just bounces off the of rubber. Rubbers and silicons.
should have been weld under there. If it were welded, it wouldn't be sucking water up. It's holding water behind that. I think this pot's just giving me a little sign there, saying that it's running out of gear. Well, that's leading me to believe that this fan's turned up really high. I know it's high, like, and it can do with turning down. But I just had a little inkling there saying that it was. And it was running out. Either that or there's a little cloggage up there somewhere. It's going to be running out at this stage. It's going to be able to go a lot further than what I am. Now it's running out. But again, at least half a boat done. Oh, a good third of it. To be fair, I've got loads of gear up on. Not like I'm, uh, not like I'm gonna run out. Must have just been a foggy. A bit of plastic or cardboard or whatever's got in pot. Might be a bit of bag. Blown it out anyway, I think. If you're still stuck around and you're watching this video, why don't you consider sticking a thumbs up on it? Or even subscribing, that'd be mega that. I know a lot of YouTubers say it helps me out if you subscribe and stuff, but yeah, it really does. It, it helps out, it helps out a lot. The more likes and thumbs up and stuff, and comments and whatever on video, it helps me rank on YouTube's search engine. And it just gives, gives other people a chance to see it as well. <laughs> it's unbelievable how many people are actually watching these videos. I really appreciate it, it's really cool. It's only a bit of an hobby for me. I don't claim to be a video, or what you call it, a videographer. I don't claim to be one of those. Oh, yeah, it pops on the play out now. It just changed note, I heard it. Slow down a little bit. I really like to do like follow up videos on this boat getting painted and stuff like that, but I'm never about. Once I've done my job, I'm, I'm off doing another job, doing something else. I could be doing a stone clean or. I could be doing some beams, I could be doing a wagon, I could be doing a train, I could be doing out. That's another reason you should, subscri sub uh, should subscribe. To see what I get up to. Oh, it's this boat ain't got no weld marks on it. There's no beads where we welding was. There's got a bit from them. They must have hit them well. I can't find them. Yeah, it's got to be here now, it's got to be gone. That looks like a weld beer. Oh, it's got to be. It's got to be a weld in it somewhere. They don't make that, that big a steel. Okay, we've got some technical issues here. That seal there. In ceiling. Oh, I don't know. I think that's just build up there now, it's rubber. It's warm rubber away. Luckily I've got a spare, so we'll try this one. Hope that this does it. Seems to be seems to be making it seal there anyway, we can all but try. Blowing back up through this gap here. And I've had that before and I can tell you now, they don't last two minutes when that shot's blowing back down that way. So we've got to try and make that seal. I'll save that just in case and then I can probably cut it with Stanley blade maybe. Just to 
that's if this don't work they're not expensive but one little piece at jigsaw that's it puzzles all the way can't do no, can't do no blasting if I can't get a thing it oh Mr Screw and all there look a bit of pipe plus I've just been having a bit of bother with sand I noticed it was a bit damp when I was putting it in but I thought I'd get away with it so I think it's just coming through now and it's just a bit damp now blowing back here Got, you see it dust coming off my glove Got blowing out of that gap there oh sugar what the stuff am I going to do now blowing out that hole and all here Shucks. That's not making it seal. So it's not that rubber. See how it's blowing past it there. Mm. Now what? Oh shit. They put that up and all, huh? Let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can fix this problem. Right, I've come to a conclusion. If it can't be fixed with tie wraps and gaffer tape, it's probably that you're not using enough tie wraps and gaffer tape. Either that or it doesn't need fixing. Well, anyway, I've got some spare pipe in van, so it's got another nozzle on it. It seems to fit a little bit better. Still not going to solve my problem that I had uh, with, with pot and damp media or whatever, so we'll just have to see. Let's see if we can blow it through, but see if this is any good. Oh, beautiful. That'll do. We're back in motion. Good job I had this spare pipe. I would have been snookered. Been an early bath. I do like to keep some spares on van, but a spare pipe that long. It's just look and have it what in van.
Yeah, I got a bit of a sinking feeling when uh, <laughs> corny as hell, I know. Uh, when my pipe were busting, that uh, media were clogging up. Yeah, we managed to fight through it there and get it done. This is that male scale I on about. Keyed up for paint. Like I say, if it's not, if they wanted it off and it's not supposed to be on, how come it's on now? So they've released boat from factory or whatever from when it's being made with that male scale on. So all I'm doing basically is taking it back to taking it back to what it was, so they can get some clean paint on it. I've noticed this as well uh, with our this here. I want to just note it. I'm just going to let him know. Got a bit of a crack coming on here. That's the only bit on this boat that I've seen. On bottom half anyway. The rest of it seems pretty solid. Nice boat to be fair. Alright, we'll catch you on next time.